ultra-processed foods. You're hungry, short on time, and that shiny bag of chips is calling your name. Easy, tasty, done. But here's the problem with those ultra-processed snacks. They're like tiny pranksters. Ultra-processed foods are anything packed with preservatives, artificial flavors, and ingredients you can't pronounce without a chemistry degree. When you eat a lot of these, your body reacts. Chronic inflammation kicks in. Think of it like your immune system stuck in angry mode. Your gut microbiome, the friendly bacteria partying in your intestines, also gets disrupted. And when the good bacteria leave the chat, toxins can sneak past your gut's defenses, upping risks for cancers like colorectal cancer. What's worse is these foods lack the good stuff. Fiber, antioxidants, and nutrients that help repair DNA damage. Bottom line? Swapping soda and frozen pizza for fresh fruits, veggies, and whole grains isn't just a diet change. It's cancer defense one meal at a time. Microplastics contamination. Ever think about what goes into your body when you're sipping iced water on a hot day? Surprise! You're drinking microplastic. These sneaky, microscopic shards are everywhere. Food, water, even the air you breathe. It's like glitter, but way less fun and way more toxic. Here's the science. These tiny particles can mess with your gut's protective mucus layer. Think of it like tearing holes in your biological raincoat. Once that barrier is down, harmful toxins and forever chemicals get a free pass into your system. Microplastics can even carry bacteria that play dirty with your DNA, potentially triggering inflammation and mutations that set the stage for cancer. And microplastics can be found everywhere, breast milk and even in blood clots. The plastic age didn't just start in the 1950s. It basically moved in and never left. Filtering water and ditching plastic containers can help. Small swaps, big difference. Delayed childbearing. Here's a surprising stat. Women having their first child after 30 are 63% more likely to develop breast cancer. Why? It all comes down to biology's clock and a little hormone called estrogen. Pregnancy transforms breast tissue, making it more resistant to cancer. Think of it like updating your phone's security system. Fewer vulnerabilities, stronger defenses. But when childbearing is delayed, your body spends more years cycling through estrogen without that protective update. Those extra cycles? They quietly increase the chance of DNA glitches, mutations, in breast cells. Add in significant weight gain or late pregnancies, and it's like running that outdated phone without a password, leaving your system exposed to malware. Mitigation isn't all or nothing. Maintaining a healthy weight, limiting alcohol, and breastfeeding longer can all act like extra updates to strengthen your body's defenses. Sleep disruption. Ever pulled an all-nighter and felt like you're playing a game in overtime with no subs? Your body feels that chaos too. Your circadian rhythm is your coach, setting the playbook for every cell, telling them when to repair, rest, or go full offense. But when you skip sleep, binge late-night screen time, or pull night shifts, that playbook gets shredded. The team is running plays blind. Here's the kicker. Disrupted Rhythms Bench Melatonin, your star defensive player. Melatonin helps repair DNA, strengthens your immune defense, and keeps hormones in balance. Without it, your defense line collapses, and cancerous cells can slip through and score. Night shift workers see the biggest losses. Women working nights for 20-plus years face double the breast cancer risk, especially if they started before 30. Keep a steady sleep schedule, block out light, and cut the late-night scrolls. That's how you keep your star player in the game. High red meat and low-fiber diet. Imagine your gut as a busy subway station. When your diet is packed with red meat and low on fiber, that station gets, well, chaotic. No cleaners, no maintenance, just a lot of toxic buildup. Here's what's going on. When red meat hits high heat, like grilling or frying, it creates nasty compounds called heterocyclic amines and polycyclic hydrocarbons. These can damage the DNA of cells lining your digestive tract. Processed meats like bacon or sausages add another twist. Preservatives like nitrates can morph into cancer-causing nitrosamines once inside your body. Fiber, on the other hand, is your gut's cleanup crew. It speeds things along, reducing the time those toxins hang out in your intestines, and even feeds good bacteria to produce short-chain fatty acids that protect your colon cells. Without enough fiber and antioxidants from fruits and veggies, your digestive tract is basically a dirty subway station. Swap in plants, whole grains, and smarter cooking methods, and suddenly, that station runs like clockwork. Air pollution. Take a deep breath. Now imagine that breath carrying thousands of microscopic hitchhikers, particles so tiny they make a grain of sand look like a beach ball. Those are PM 2.5 particles, and they're everywhere. Car exhaust, power plants, even that fresh city breeze. Here's the scary part. These specks are so small they slip past your lungs' defenses, dive deep into your bloodstream, and start wreaking havoc. They inflame tissues, scramble DNA, and overwhelm your body's repair systems, like gremlins running wild inside a machine. 
Over time, that chaos raises cancer risk, especially in young people whose cells are dividing like crazy. The numbers are brutal. A 22% higher overall cancer mortality risk. And for breast cancer, an 80% jump when pollution rises from what you'd breathe on a clear suburban morning to the haze of a busy urban street. Your best defense? Fight back indoors with air purifiers and outdoors by picking cleaner routes or checking air quality before heading out. Alcohol. Imagine your DNA as a pristine library, every strand a perfect book neatly shelved. Now take a sip of alcohol. Inside your body, it turns into acetaldehyde, a chemical vandal. It doesn't just visit, it storms the library, ripping pages and scribbling nonsense in the margins. But the chaos doesn't stop there. Alcohol sparks inflammation and cranks up estrogen levels like turning up the heat in a library full of fragile manuscripts. It also generates reactive oxygen species, basically tiny arsonists leaving scorch marks on your genetic shelves. Even light drinking, just one drink a day, raises breast cancer risk. And for young adults, binge drinking is like inviting the vandals for an all-night party. Rates have jumped 18% since the early 2000s, and research shows moderate drinkers who binge face the steepest risks. Schedule alcohol-free days or swap that cocktail for sparkling water with fruit. It's like giving your genetic library a quiet day for repairs. Chronic inflammation. Imagine a tiny campfire in your backyard. Now imagine you never put it out. It just keeps smoldering, day after day. That's what chronic inflammation does inside your body. Conditions like inflammatory bowel disease, including Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, are striking more teens and young adults than ever. These diseases keep your digestive tract inflamed, and over time, that constant injury and repair cycle is like making endless photocopies of a blurry document. Eventually, mutations creep in, raising the risk of colorectal cancer, sometimes even before age 40. It's not just IBD. Autoimmune diseases like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis can light similar fires, while type 2 diabetes now shows up in 20-somethings, creating a metabolic storm. Here's the good news. Controlling inflammation through treatment, lifestyle changes, and screenings is like finally dousing that campfire. Sedentary lifestyle. You're finally home from another day being yelled at by your boss who thinks he's the next Einstein. You sit down to binge just one episode. Suddenly, the credits roll. Four hours later. Your body? It's basically filing a complaint. And not just from your soul-crushing job. Long stretches of sitting don't just make your legs numb. They change your biology. When you're parked on the couch or at your desk all day, your body slows down its metabolism. Insulin spikes. Inflammation creeps in. Hormones get out of balance. And your immune system? It's basically napping on the job. This isn't just about gaining a few pounds. Inactivity alone ramps up cancer risk. Colorectal cancer risk up by 54%. Endometrial cancer? A whopping 66%. And yes, TV marathons are the worst offenders, thanks to the deadly combo of sitting still and snacking like you're fueling a small army. The fix? Simple but powerful. Move. Take breaks every hour. Walk, bike, dance. Anything to keep the cellular machinery humming. Tobacco and vaping. Picture this. You're 17, hanging out after school, and someone passes you a vape. It's just flavored smoke, they say. Fast forward 20 years. Those harmless puffs could be leaving a not-so-nice note in your DNA. Here's the deal. Cigarettes have been the villain in the cancer story for decades, packed with over 70 carcinogens like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heavy metals. Think of them as tiny vandals tagging your DNA with errors, one puff at a time. Start young, and by 40, you've got two decades of damage baked in. Vaping? It's the new kid on the block. Slick, trendy, and just as suspicious. Early studies show vape aerosols can carry chemicals like formaldehyde and acrolein, both of which mess with your lung cells. And hookah? Spoiler, one session equals the smoke of dozens of cigarettes. Bottom line, avoiding tobacco, in any form, is still one of the smartest cancer-fighting moves you can make. Chronic stress. You're stuck in traffic, your phone's blowing up with work emails, and your coffee just spilled in your lap. Your body? It's basically hitting the panic button on repeat. Here's the deal. When stress lingers, days, weeks, even months, your body pumps out cortisol, the stress hormone, like it's on an endless coffee drip. Cortisol is helpful in short bursts, but when it sticks around, it weakens your immune defenses, stirs up inflammation, and even messes with your DNA repair crew. Think of it like your cell's maintenance team going on strike. Even scarier, stress hormones can nudge dormant cancer cells, tiny sleepers hiding after treatment, to wake up and start dividing again. The antidote? Daily stress resets, meditation, exercise, therapy, or just a solid support system. Your mind and your cells will thank you. Vitamin D deficiency. If your body is a castle, vitamin D is the watchtower guard, scanning for trouble and keeping your defenses sharp. But when you're low on vitamin D, 
thanks to long indoor days or a diet lacking in rich sources, that guard goes missing. Vitamin D helps regulate cell growth, repair DNA, and even trigger cellular cleanup when cells go rogue. Without enough of it, damaged cells can slip through and your immune surveillance weakens, giving cancer cells a chance to sneak through your security checkpoints. It's not rare either. A staggering 76% of young cancer survivors have vitamin D deficiency. Blame modern lifestyles. More screens, less sunlight, fewer nutrient-rich foods. The fix? Short bursts of sun, vitamin D-rich foods like salmon, or simple supplements, especially in winter. Think of it as rehiring your watchtower guard and paying them overtime. Improved detection. Cancer rates in young people look like they're exploding, but part of the story is that we've simply gotten way better at finding it. Think of it like upgrading from an old flip phone camera to a 4K drone. You're suddenly spotting things that were always there but invisible before. Take thyroid cancer. In the 2000s, ultrasounds and CT scans started picking up tiny nodules that older generations never knew they had. Same with colorectal cancer. Once doctors lowered the screening age from 50 to 45, diagnoses in that 45 to 49 age group jumped. Not because the cancer suddenly appeared overnight, but because we finally started looking. And here's the good news. Early detection often means early, highly treatable stages. Colon cancer survival rates? Over 90% when caught early. So, yes, the stats can sound scary, but in this case, better tech is saving lives, not just raising alarms. If you liked this video and are interested in learning more about human disease, check out this other video.